Hi, I'm Gary. Welcome to Jargon Free Help. One of the things I like to do is save web pages as PDFs and that way I can keep them on file because I might be offline or I can email them to someone. Now, it's really easy to do and you might be familiar with just taking a screenshot and then you've just got the screen, but what if you want the whole web page? Well, it starts off by doing a screenshot and you can easily do that if you've got an iPhone or an iPad that's got a home button, you basically hold the power button and then you press quickly press the home button and that will do a little capture. If you've got an iPhone or an iPad that doesn't have a home button, then what you can do is just hold the volume up button and press the power button quickly and it comes up in the bottom left hand corner. And when you tap on it, you've got your screenshot and you can see at the top it says screen and to the right of it, it says full page. If I tap on full page, I can now mark it up. I've got little uh, pens and things here for drawing on it, but I'm not gonna show you that now. If I tap on the share at the top right hand side, I can now email that to somebody. So I could just tap on email and off it goes. The alternative is I can just tap on done and you'll see it comes up with an option to save PDF to files. So you've now got files that you can save on your phone and they can go onto the iCloud drive as well. So it is saved there, or you could delete it or cancel it. If I tap on save PDF to files, it's putting it into this folder here that I've called PDFs websites. And I can just simply tap on save, or I could choose another folder to put it in. So that's an easy way you can now save your file and if I now go to my phone and go into my files I can tap on my folder and you can see here I've now got that as a PDF and from here I could send it or I could mark it up as well just as you would send any other file just by using your little share button here in the bottom left hand corner. So that's a really nice easy way of being able to save a web page as a PDF which can be very useful, particularly if you're offline or you want to come back to it quickly and not have to find that web page again. It could be instructions, it could be a news article, recipe, or something else that you really want to keep for yourself to use and refer back to later. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, you can click on the button on this video that's appearing now on the right hand side, or you can click below this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.